Good morning and welcome to our thought for today. It's Saturday. It's the 1st of April, or as we say over here, April Fool's Day. And we're reading to you today from a lovely book called Jesus Calling, channeled messages from the heart of Christ to a beautiful light worker called Sarah Young. <clears throat> and for the 1st of April, we read, and these are Jesus' words. I am calling you to a life of constant communion with me. Basic training includes learning to live above your circumstances, even while interacting on that cluttered plane of life. You yearn for a simplified lifestyle so that your communication with me can be uninterrupted. But I challenge you to relinquish the fantasy of an uncluttered world. Accept each day just as it comes and find me in the midst of it all. Talk with me about every aspect of your day, including your feelings. Remember that your ultimate goal is not to control or fix everything around you, it is to keep communing with me. A successful day is one in which you have stayed in touch with me, even if many things remain undone at the end of that day. Do not let your to-do list, written or mental, become an idol directing your life. Instead, ask my spirit to guide you moment by moment. He will keep you close to me. Beautiful words. <clears throat> so let us now reflect on those words as we come into the presence of Christ, who has just spoken to your heart and mine. So as we sit quietly in our sacred space, it is always good to have your bare feet touching the sacred floor. And now we focus on our in-breath as we take a nice, deep, non-labored in-breath. We breathe in the essence of Christ's love. And in our out-breath, we release to Christ whatever is troubling us at this hour. We name it, we bless it, and we give it to God in a mindset of gratitude and say, thank you, God. Thank you for your love today. So just relax, be still, and listen to the simple words that Jesus shared with your heart for today. He said again, I am calling you to a life of constant communion with me. and he will keep you close to him. He's inviting you to embrace a simpler life by first surrendering your heart and not like many others who give lip service to God, who are not committed or as consistent as you are. And all he asks of you is to stay close to him so that he can bless you with his love and strengthen you in this new day. So let us celebrate Christ's love for us. By allowing him into our heart. For the heart is the gateway to your soul and your soul is your gateway to God or nirvana. Relax now and just sense the presence of Christ around you. Sense his love and look upon his pierced heart, broken by man's inhumanity to mankind. But his heart is oozing love for you. Be still. 
be still and know that God is with you and that you have nothing to fear today, absolutely nothing. I'd like to conclude with a fourfold Franciscan blessing once I've had a drink because my throat is really dry. <clears throat> Forgive me. May God bless you with a restless discomfort about easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationships, so that you may seek truth boldly and love deep within your heart. May God bless you with a holy anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you may tirelessly work for justice, freedom, and peace among all people. May God bless you with the gift of tears to shed with those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, or the loss of all that they cherish so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and transform their pain into joy. May God bless you with enough foolishness to believe that yes, you really can make a difference in this world, so that you are able with God's grace to do what others claim cannot be done. And the blessing of God the Supreme Majesty and our Creator, with Jesus the Cosmic Christ, the Incarnate Word, who is our brother, our friend and mentor, and with the Holy Spirit, our advocate and guide, be with you and remain with you this day and every day you live. Amen. I wish you a blessed day today. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, patset bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of your God, Goddess, reawaken within your heart the I am presence of source. I wish you all that I wish myself if not more, till we meet again tomorrow around this table of love. God bless.